Hey guys, welcome back to Beach and Fishing. Paul here with you again today. It's a bit windy today and to be honest, I had hoped to shoot this outside on a kayak, but it's very windy and I want to keep up with my schedule so I can get out fishing again when the wind dies down. So I'm going to shoot this from here and I will do another video on the kayak for this in future. But Beach and Fishing, my site aimed at everything to do with fishing. Um, as I keep saying, I'm not a professional fisherman, I'm an avid fisherman. I like to write about it, like love to research it. Um, send me break buying all the new gear all the time, but it's good fun. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about something that I've been playing with a lot more recently, which is my three best lures for the kayak. Um, I've always been a bait person for years and years and years. I use baits, I rarely touch lures. Um, I didn't like, I didn't enjoy in this, you know, the, the, Hardcore fishermen I talk to around the areas I there where I live will often scoff when I tell them this, but I didn't enjoy the cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve, cast and retrieve. I've actually started to really like that because I like the way that I can play with lures and the way that I can bounce them around and and you know cast them to areas and see what works and see what doesn't and the like. So it's, and in the kayak, as I've done more and more fishing in the kayak and in small boats up and down the same estuary, I've enjoyed the fact with lures that I can bounce them along the bottom and let them drift and and catching all sorts of different fish that I've never caught just sitting on bait and just dropping bait in the water and letting it sit there. They, you know, there's a whole different raft of ideas and fun that I have with a lure on a, on a kayak. So today, as, a, as I say, it's just my three um, kayak, three lures that I like for a kayak, that I recommend for a kayak. I mean, there's not that many different types of lures, as in different physical types. There's million types, million different variations of each type if that's if you get what i'm saying i'll elaborate on that but you know the the ones that i like to use will run through now so let's start with the with basically the i'll take you through the lures explain what i like and what i use them for and then i'll just quickly show the three that i have come up with and then once the weather clears i'll get out on the kayak and i will have a bit of a play with the lures and see how they bounce and work and the, and the like as well so the first uh, type of lure that you have, which I love, is soft plastics. Now soft plastic, that is what a soft plastic lure looks like. Um, effectively, it is a bit of plastic and a, a jig head. So a jig head is a metal, um, uh, like a, not a metal, it's like a sinker lead type top and a little barb thing there that holds the plastic on and a hook. Now there are different types of jig heads. There's types that are just hooks with little springs on it that make the, the plastics work differently. Um, I use the, the jig heads myself, mainly again because I like to use them for drifting so that they bounce along the bottom. Um, if you're in shallower water, use a, a quite a small, and this is quite a big one for the ones I use. I have a, I thought I had a container here with all the other ones in, but I didn't bring it in. But yeah, so that's the jig head. And then the plastic part, you can see on this one, it's got little, little brakes in, the, in there so it it's designed to float around or move around um, I've got another one here which is a little crustacean little prawn looking type thing and then the other one I've got you can get is ones that this one's pre hooked so it comes with the plastic and the jig head in one bit and the jig head there has a red red top you can get jig heads with eyes painted on you can get jig heads in just about every color you imagine and it's the same with the plastics now these three plastics here are ones that i have and the reason i've bought these three in because when i first bought these i they're in a super specials bin where i get my stuff from i thought oh you know three bucks for a, a pack of the soft plastic see how they go i put the, attach this to my line so just tie the line tie the line directly tie it directly to the line no swivel no sink or anything like that with just a standard knot have a look at my post on knots and it's a, just the first knot there i put this in the water the first time on a kayak could not not catch a fish every time i dropped in i was catching around us where we go there's um flathead there's brim there's whiting there's trevally there's um occasionally you'll get some some surface fish in there, mangrove jack, I didn't get any of them on this, but you can, you get them in there. Um, I caught brim, flathead, whiting, I caught a stargazer, if any of you ever seen a stargazer, I didn't, I have a photo of it somewhere, I should put it on my Instagram, um, I will, have a look at my Instagram, I'll put it on there, yeah, it's the weirdest looking fish, but I caught one of them. Um, all on this, so I thought, wow, I found it, I found my lure. 
Next time I went out, couldn't, caught nothing. So, took that off, put the little prawn one on, started catching fish. So the, the beauty of a, a soft plastic is if you've got the jig head, all I need to do now if I want to change, if I can find where the, the little brake is in this one, all you do is just loop that through, and there you go. I've attached a new soft plastic. That's not on properly. I haven't pushed that all the way in. There you go. A new soft. I've attached attached the new soft plastic to the jig head. So that one goes out, and off I go with that one, and wiggle that one around, and try and catch that. If I don't like that, I simply peel that one off, peel this one back on. This one's really old, so it's not the best. And off I go from there. So that's soft plastics, that's the first one. They come in also, normally you buy them in packets like that. These ones, the Berkeley Gulp ones, are actually, this one's actually, they're actually flavoured and scented. So I can put that on and it, apparently it, it, they attract the fish more, more so. This is pumpkin seed. My Facebook, some of the Facebook groups, I mean, the guys swear by pumpkin seed um, soft plastics for some reason. Haven't tried these yet myself. That was my plan today, but we'll see how we go. I've got some uh, Z-Man and ones that I like there. I like the ones with the swirly tails. They work best. So they're your soft plastics. They're your first type. They're very, also very good. They'll bounce along, cast and do whatever. The second option you've got, and I've got this attached to my rod, so I don't want to pull it off, is a jerk bait. Uh, poppers, you see them called somewhere. This one's a die or double clutch. One, if you ever get one of these, be very careful. These hooks are the sharpest I've ever seen on any sort of lure. Um, you can see here by the, I'll take it off the thing there. If I can get it off the line, without breaking my line. So what happens with these ones is you can see the little, like a little duck bill. We, a lot of them call them, we call them duck lures sometimes because they've got a the little duck bill. What happens, this sits on top, it floats, and then as you, start to retrieve your line. This puts it down and it dives down and then it just sort of float, it jiggles along like that with, um, in a fishing, in a fish type motion. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of variations of jerk baits, poppers, um, whatever you want to call them. Some have flat, there's poppers having to surf which have a flat front and a little spoon bill. Some don't have the spoon bill. Um, but yeah, they normally got two or three hooks on. This one's made of a, almost like a plastic type thing, I think. Some are fiberglass, some are, um, are metal. Not many of the poppers are metal though, because you want them to be light so you can pull them down through. These are also very good. These are good for cast and retrieve, obviously. Um, I like these in a kayak because one problem I find personally with, with poppers or jerkbait is that they are quite light, which means you, you haven't got as casting length as you do with the the ones with the heavier um, jig heads on or the you know the the spinner baits or whatever the spoon bait the spoon lures or whatever but these are good in a kayak because you can just sort of flick it out and then i run this one on my bait caster so i just hold the the open on and just let it drift out as i drift along and then depends on what i'm doing i either um pull it back in that way or i either pull it back in or I just let it drift behind me. The only problem with these as opposed to them, is these tend to snag a little bit more because they get, they because of the little spoon bill there, they get pushed down and they'll, they'll push them down into the into the bottom. But they're your second type. They're quite fun. I like I like playing with the um, with the poppers. I play with them on, if I'm casting and retrieving, I do like to, they're good fun to um, go with as well. Now the third option you've got here I've got a, a fresh water version here. So for those of you who like to chase the bass, we, I get this one for the Murray Cod, not that I've ever caught one yet, but I will one day, I'm hoping, um, is a swim bait. Now, technically, all these are swim baits because they're designed to mirror fish swimming. So these ones with the tail, they drag along and that floats out the back, so it looks like fish swimming. Obviously, the the um, the poppers go down, they dive down like that and they sort of wiggle along like that. Some of them have... Um, some of them put little um, ball bearings and stuff inside to vibrate and so move along. This one is what I've always known as swim bait because you can see the three distinct connectable parts. So that gets pulled along, put the line through the nose there, 
gets pulled along and it just goes like that. These are very popular in freshwater. This one's actually for chasing um, cod, Murray cod up in some of the dams we go up to. I put a weight on the front of this and that's something you can put on the, on some people put them on their poppers as well because this one's also very light. I couldn't get it to sink. So if I put the little weight on it, little sinker on the front there, it'll just sink a little bit so that I can, I can drag it, you know, pull it down and pull it through the water and hopefully attract a fish. So that's a swim bait. What I've always known as swim baits, as I say, they're all technically swim baits, but this has the, the connectors on it. Very popular in freshwater with freshwater species, but you can buy them in saltwater species as well. They're normally bit, um, created to mimic the exact colorings of fish that are found within the area that you're fishing. Um, so when we go to some of the bait, some of the, um, this one here is actually called Copeton Magic. We go to a place called Copeton Dam, has all the big cod in there. This one was designed specifically for the Murray cod in Copeton Dam. Haven't seen one here yet, but um, they do exist. Uh, normally they, you can get them with redfin, which is another fish in there. And I've seen them in the bass species where they're, you know, they're small bass or they're small uh, bait fish type that are in those lakes as well. So that's the swim bait. They're the main three that I would recommend for kayak. There is the other option here, which is your, your good old spoon or, you know, straight metal, some people call them. Um, love these in surf. These are my favorite in the surf. Very rarely use them in a kayak. Mainly fact, they're really heavy. <clears throat> Excuse me, and if I'm gonna drag something along the bottom, I'll pick one of these that looks more like fish because it's a bit lighter and you can jig it around a bit. These tend to just bounce along the bottom. Um, I generally take one of these in the kayak with me though because every now and then you'll see all the surface fish on the water somewhere in the estuary. And if I've got a clip sinker on, which I have on this one here, I don't know if you can see that, but that little clip sinker there, the clip swivel, sorry, not sinker. I can clip that off quickly, clip this on, takes about 30 seconds and I can get out to the, try and throw this at the um, surface fish. Works rarely because I'm normally not quick enough to find it and put it on and by the time I've done that, the fish are gone anyway. But um, yeah, that's where you could use that in a kayak or if you're in a big ocean kayak, you could take that out if you're chasing mackerel or, um, any other predatory surface fish that you have wherever you are fishing, you could use them in an ocean kayak, but in estuaries and lakes and stuff, you normally wouldn't use this. So that's the three things I look at. Think about what you're, where you're fishing. Think about the bottom and how you'll be fishing. If you're gonna be doing predominantly uh, cast and retrieve, try the, the swim baits. If you wanna do a bit of drifting, I recommend the soft plastics for drifting. They that's where I catch most of my fish in a kayak is drifting along with these. Um, <clears throat> and the spoons obviously there. And I mean, if you get onto any Facebook group for any fishing group in the world, you'll find that there's a massive difference of opinion over whether you should be using soft plastics, spoons or swimmer baits. So do your research, see what seems to work around there. Get, if you can, three or four different, different types because as I mentioned, one day this worked a charm. This one's like a sill with little, little glittery bits over it. Next day, this one worked. Next day, that one worked. So I always try, take two or three with me. Uh, try the center ones if you like, or take some different poppers with you as well. I mean, this is a Daiwa double clutch. There's probably about 30 different colorings of that one too. So again, find out what, what bait you've got, what bait occurs naturally where you are, and obviously try and match the lure colors to the, um, to the fish that are there. I mean, lures, the advantages of lures, obviously, is you don't have to buy bait all the time. I mean, they, they do make up, this one, these lures are about 25 bucks, which I must admit makes me really not want to get it um, snagged and lose it. But if you buy a bait three times, quite often you've made your money back. Uh, they can generally cast a bit further, a bit more accurate. I like lures for drifting because bait, the bait that we use where we fish a, a little yabby, a little crustacean thing, they fall off. If you're trolling along, they will catch fish. I mean, I caught, I caught a nice big flathead on one the other day, drifting along, but they'll fall off. And squid and those sort of things, whilst I stay on, tend to look a bit beat up after a while they go, you know, so that's where lures are, are advantage. Okay, so the post we've got here has all of that information, so you can read through all that at, at, at your own leisure. You can see we've got some swim baits, some different types of jerk baits or poppers. Uh, all your different types of um, soft plastics there. Think about your rod, think about your reel. Um, 
they're the ones I use, as I've shown you there, the Gulp and the D-Man and the other little ones there. So if you're looking to get yourself set up, my recommendations would be to get on here and get yourself some Berkeley Gulp. These are the ones I showed you that have the, that they're centered. I've, it's got a yellow one there on the page. If I click on that, I can show you that. There are about, what's that, four, four times, there's about 40 different options there. So you can see all the different types they've got there, mimicking little crabs, um, another little crab, little fish, the sort of ones there. You know, all the different types there. So you just get in and choose. The colors there are depending on whether what um, size you choose and the um, the amount. But yeah, so there you the, your Berkeley Gold. I, as I say, I love the soft plastics. I recommend them in a kayak. They'll catch, there's not many fish that won't take these. Um, any fishing magazine I've read, people use these right up and around here, they use them for deep sea fishing. You know, really big jig head, really big long, uh, plastic on it and they I've been out with friends of mine in boats where they've used um, soft plastics the whole time and caught as many fish as we have so they will definitely catch anything you want if you want some um, jig heads have a look on there and you can get some of them all the different sizes there and yeah you can four quarter ounce and six o hook you can get them tiny up to big again any size you're looking for you can do that so there your soft plastics Second one is a double clutch. That's what I just showed you there. In fact, I think that's the exact one that I've got here. Uh, $18.99, that's pretty good actually. Um, as I mentioned in here, any one of the Facebook groups I've ever mentioned love the Daiwa double clutch. They always say they're the, the, the hands down the most popular one I see mentioned in any sort of Facebook group, anything like that. I really like the way that they they click along the bottom. I really like the way they cast. As I say, they're a little bit light, but either use them for, for drifting or throw a little weight in the front, you might be able to cast them a bit further. Again, they come in all different such, um, sizes and that as well. But the dial or double clutch, as I say, very good. I use it a lot. I'll um, shoot a video of it in, in action next week too, so you'll see that there too. And the third one, Trans End Multi-Jointed Swim Bait Lures. These one are all with ones. These ones are very popular, as you can see, 4.4, 7,000 odd reviews. Um, all different types there. They've got them to mimic all the different types of fish. If I open that one up for you, you'll be able to see all the different types they've got there. So they've got some metal spinners there. Um, all sorts of look, looking at different. Depends on different fish. Some of you might recommend uh, recognize different fish for different areas. They look a little fresh water. They've got some salt water ones there. There'll be more your salt water ones there. Um, different colors. Ducks, if you're somewhere where you need to use ducks or mice. Um, another little duck there. So all sorts of different swim baits. And as I say, those those little segregated parts there are what make that, that swim along. So they're a good option there if you're looking for swim baits, depending on where you're fishing, what sort of fishing you like to do. If I was buying these, I, as I say, I get those and I get this and they work really well for me in the saltwater environments that I fish in. And we use these ones when we go on the kayaks out in the lakes chasing freshwater fish. We are heading off in a couple of weeks up to do some bass fishing in one of the lakes near us. So I, I'll grab some of these and I'll let you know how I go. Okay guys, that's it. That's my three lures for kayak fishing. I don't even know where I'm looking now. I was looking at the light, not the camera. Um, yeah, so that's my three lures for kayak fishing. Hope that was helpful for you. If you're watching this within YouTube, please like and subscribe to the channel below. That way you'll get to see all the videos that, I'll, that I'm going to start looking at when I start use, I'll start demonstrating lures in the kayak and the like. Um, I was just waiting for a new GoPro to come in, which has turned up, so we'll be off and running there. If you're watching within the post and have any questions to do with lures, Tell me what lures work well for you in different areas. Tell me what lures don't work well for you. If there's any difference opinion than mine, which I love to hear about, because that's what's one of the best things about fishing, please comment below. We'd love to have a chat. Okay, guys, thanks for that. Chat to you soon. Bye.